Have you ever been cruising at 35,000 feet, scrolling through your social media feed, and suddenly wondered, is this Wi-Fi messing with the plane? It's a valid question. We're always told to put our phones on airplane mode during takeoff and landing, so how is it suddenly safe to have Wi-Fi beaming throughout the cabin mid-flight? Let's dive into it. First off, let ES get the big question out of the way. Does in-flight Wi-Fi interfere with the plane's navigation or communication systems? The short answer is a resounding no. Modern aircraft are technological marvels, built with incredible shielding and redundancy. The critical systems used for flying the plane operate on completely different, highly protected frequencies than the ones used for your Wi-Fi connection. Think of it like this. Your car's radio doesn't suddenly stop working just because you're using your phone as Bluetooth. They're designed to coexist peacefully without stepping on each other's toes. The same principle applies here, but on a much more sophisticated and rigorously tested scale. Aircraft manufacturers and aviation authorities like the FAA have conducted exhaustive tests to ensure that these systems are completely separate and safe. So how does airplane Wi-Fi even work? There are two main methods. The first is air-to-ground, or ATG. This system uses antennas on the belly of the plane that connect to cell towers on the ground. As the plane flies, it seamlessly switches from one tower to the next, much like your phone does when you're driving down the highway. This method works great over land, but, as you can guess, isn't an option when you're flying over a vast ocean. That's where the second, more common method comes in, satellite Wi-Fi. A dome-shaped antenna on top of the fuselage communicates with satellites orbiting the Earth. These satellites then relay the signal back down to a station on the ground, connecting the aircraft to the Internet. This is how you can stay connected even when you're in the middle of nowhere, thousands of feet above the Pacific. The reason you're still asked to turn on airplane mode during takeoff and landing is more about eliminating every single potential variable during the most critical phases of flight. It's an abundance of caution measure. While a single phone is unlikely to cause an issue, imagine hundreds of devices all searching for a signal at once. It could potentially create minor, distracting noise for the pilots in their headsets. Mid-flight, however, the plane is stable, and the Wi-Fi systems are specifically designed and certified for that environment. So, next time you log on to send an email or watch a video from the sky, you can relax. The aircraft systems are in a completely separate, protected bubble. It's a testament to the incredible engineering that allows us to browse the web while soaring through the clouds. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more behind-the-scenes looks at the world of aviation. Fly safe and stay curious.